Hey guys, today I'm reviewing for you the new version of the ES File Explorer. Let's check it out. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal by Samantha. It's referencing XDA forum member Eastrunks, the developer of the ES File Explorer application. They've updated the application to version 3. They've added a dozen of new features as well as a new, obviously a new UI for a version 3 upgrade from 1.6. Let's check out the thread. Uh, overall, it's more holo based and you're able to change the icon settings and as well as having different tabs. This is one of the screenshots they provide you. You're able to have multiple tabs on top. The settings options are on the left. We'll check that out a little bit in the, uh, on the application. The thread itself doesn't have a lot of explanation, but it does have the gem of what we need to, uh, to do is, and essentially is the version 3 ver uh, of the application itself. It was updated as of the 27th of March. They've updated it and it's now about 4 megabytes, 3.99. Let's go ahead and check it out on the phone. Connect the application on the phone. This is the version of the application downloaded from the XDA thread. The Google Play Store version is 1.6.5. You're more than welcome to use that one, but for the review, what we're using is this version of the application, which is the updated version. By default, when you first log into the application or turn it on, you have your local tab, your LAN tab, which is essentially your LAN access uh, folders if you have anything set up. You also have your cloud accounts, depending on which accounts you've used. By, you have the ability of looking at the file folders in this format, you're able to change it, you have obviously you know six different or uh, nine different versions of it. It defaults to large icons, but you're even able to go to the smallest one. I went ahead and gave um, the application root access already to be able to go in and access my root folders. So if I want, um, I can go ahead, oh, sorry, I'll change it here and go to device. So you're able to see as you can, you know, I can go into my data folder. I'm able to find and look at it. If the root is not given, this folder will not be visible, or at least when you open it, it just shows empty. So that's one of the main things you want to keep in mind. So we'll go back to large icons again. This is what, what it looks like. I'm able to change directly in here between device, which is the root, uh, as well as to go into my internal memory and external memory. And I'll go ahead and go back here. The uh, other thing we want to keep in mind, we have a tab on the left side. If you hit menu, it gives you directly access to here, but you can also access it by clicking here. And you go into tools. The main benefits here, obviously, is you have the hide list that you want to be able to access, uh, the clipboard, net manager. Uh, some of these functions require you to have additional applications. Uh, an example would be the system manager. It requires you to download a different application made by East Trunk. So, Keep in mind when you download these uh, applications that you need to be able to have other applications to use. The root explorer functionality is the main thing. If you click it, it gives you you know uh, what you want to do. Do you want to mount, rewrite, start, uh, startup manager, uninstall, backup app and data, one key uninstall. The moment you activate it, it just gives you the access to root, and then you're able to go in and change different aspects or aesthetics of it mostly aspects, I guess. The app manager is another function that it gives you access to. Uh, if you notice, it opened up a new panel, but it opened it up after your user application or the local system. That's the main thing you want to keep in mind. The local system will always be to the left and that's put in the settings. It gives you a list of all the applications. You're able to go into, by default, it goes into user application. You're able to click it, go down, you're able to find all the APKs and this is how you'll be able to install new applications. So you can go in and it'll search your phone for all the available APKs and you're able to download them and install them to the phone using this system. Or you can go as well to system apps and again it gives you all the access to all the APKs installed in the system. You're able to uninstall the bloatware or any additional things that you don't need on of here. We'll go back to user applications and um, if we go back into the menu itself the other thing that we didn't get a chance to look real quick at is the settings tab. Settings tab is pretty simple. You have a file settings. You have uh, security settings as far as uh, you know password setting. You're able to set the password on the uh, on the access, so you don't actually have app people logging in or using uh, the file explorer without your permission. And the app manager setting, download manager, the window settings as far as how you want them to be set up, um, update setting, how frequent you want it to update. And if you go on the about app right now, if you go to the app page, it's just going to link you directly to the version 1.6.5 on the Google Play Store. Overall, very easy, very nice to use. The interface is very simple, very whole like so you'll definitely be very comfortable with this uh, if you've used any of the other applications that use the same theme. Um, as far as network, you have the ability to set up an FTP so uh, server, cloud access, LAN, Bluetooth file transfer, uh, a magnitude of things to be able to do, you know, SD card analysis, it's just going to run and it will analyze how much information you have on it and it will tell you what's using up your SD card. 
Um, overall, a great application. Definitely recommend it. Check it out. Let me know what you think. It's, again, being tested right now on XDA, so you have access to be able to test it out and use it and let the developer know exactly what you think and hope you guys like this. I like the way the application works. I've used ES File Explorer back in the original version and I've had it as far as a, a, a File Explorer or Root Explorer. It's definitely a good alternative to either Root Explorer or some of the main other applications that you have to pay for since it's a free application. But the update that they went from, from 1.6 to 3 is just phenomenal in the sense of, uh, you'll look at the aesthetics as far as the functionality, the ability to go between panels. Uh, the new Holo theme is really very nice. The settings, the ability to change the font size, the ability to change the folder format as far as how you have your view, um, the ability to install, uninstall, backup, uh, file manager, SD card statistics, uh, FTP servers, the list goes on. It's a very powerful uh, file manager, supported, updated as uh, the, the version on the Google Play Mo uh, Store was updated as, uh, I think I want to say... As recently as the 20th of February. So as you can see, they're starting to shift more uh, support towards the version 3. But version 3 has had so much support. It's available for testing right now through the XDA site. So you can definitely download it and check it out and let me know what you think. Of course, you can comment and provide notes and, and responses back to the developer. I'll provide the link for you guys in the link below. Uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, please check out my main channel. I'm putting out an application review this week for a note application. So I uh, hope you guys like this. I will see you guys next week.